So after the breather I got with Izzy, it's only natural things go back to normal with our next contestant, Cody. Cody is a great character, although he can be very persistent, and his downfall mostly occurs because of his obsession with Gwen, which ends up biting him when he goes to World Tour and meets Sierra. So I think Cody actually has all he needs in his island appearance to make it far in actuality. He has a personality, he is seemingly liked by everyone on his team, and he doesn't make any enemies besides Gwen, and that's even debatable. So first off, Cody needs to get the point that Gwen will never like him. Doesn't have to be in an earlier episode, but it needs to click by the time he's in episode 9. And second, he needs to stay at least 100 feet away from Heather so he doesn't get the barbecue chips and mauled by a bear. If this simple change is done, this small twist of fate is made. He can make it farther, and he might even win. Now, there is an alternate scenario here where in episode 5, Cody, Gwen, and Justin form a group that will vote off Heather, with them also getting Lashana and Trent to help, but that wouldn't just make the vote even 5-5, five to five. and frankly, I've sent Heather home way too early in many of these episodes, mostly because if she makes it farther, she becomes way stronger. So we will just go with Cody simply not interacting with Heather in this episode, allowing him to avoid being mauled and avoid being the scapegoat here. Now a lot of the votes on Cody was a merciful thing as Cody just wasn't in a shape to keep going, but if he is okay then I think it would come down to Beth and Heather. Frankly, I just said that I will be giving Heather more credit, but how am I supposed to believe Heather can get a fourth vote here to even things up, let alone a fifth? when everybody despises Heather. Heather gets eliminated here, in a pretty thematic end about how her own hubris got her eliminated. Episode 10, Owen ruins everything, but Heather is not there to ask what Beth's totem is, so nobody would be the wiser as to what it is, and Cody would start, like, a little micro-alliance with Beth, as he feels kinda bad for her after losing her only real allies, though Lindsay and Beth are also in an alliance, so it's like a secret three-way alliance. Owen is deemed the biggest screw-up here and gets eliminated by his team. Episode 11 isn't that important, as Screaming Gopher's performance does not change the outcome in any way, as Killer Bass disqualify themselves in the final round, and Sadie is sent home here, but Cody is feeling the pressure of being in two alliances. Episode 12, and there's nothing really to say here, is when the Screaming Gophers win, there's a whole lot less to talk about compared to if they lose. Courtney goes home. Episode 13, and since Heather isn't here to distract Harold, the Killer Bass win, and Cody isn't in an awkward position because he either has to vote with Beth and Lindsay or vote with Trent and Gwen with the potential of Lashana making it a tie. Lashana is tied to Gwen and Trent by their hatred of Heather, but I think Gwen and Trent wouldn't get hurt as they assume Cody will just vote for who they tell him to, and they assume Lindsay and Beth are too ignorant to, to talk to Lashana. Cody goes to Lashana and asks who she's voting for, to which she says that she's honestly voting for him, so Cody feels a bit relieved with that and finally makes his vote. Now this may seem like the biggest long shot of all long shots, but I feel like Lindsay could do some last minute manipulation to Cody's hormones to get him to make a brash decision that he didn't really think through, and he votes Gwen. Izzy was originally brought back for the Screaming Gophers, but honestly I think Heather is just the much better choice here, as even though a lot of Screaming Gophers know her tricks, Heather probably has made a few more tricks in her time off. Eva is also brought back like in canon, and the episode goes almost exactly the same, but Heather is a lot more ready to make alliances for her own benefit, even with people who are dangerous. So Heather goes to Eva and actually makes an alliance with her, goes to Cody and Trent and makes alliances with them, and finally makes an alliance with Harold after she points out that his own team will kill him if they find out for sure he rigged the vote. While everyone else votes Eva, Heather is able to get her alliance to vote for Beth, making it a 6-6 tie. Or it would be a tie if Duncan isn't canonically shown to vote for Heather. So with that, Beth is actually eliminated here, and Heather would probably do a condescending wave goodbye to her on Beth's way out. With 11 contestants, Heather needs one more person gone before she can start cutting members, so Heather actually does what he does to Trent on Jeff, who falls for it and Bridget sees it like Gwen did in canon. With that, Heather gets immunity, and most people vote Jeff, sending him home. Heather wants to get rid of the stronger people in episode 17, and gets Bridget as well as Lashana to vote off Duncan with a promise that she herself won't vote for them next episode. Episode 18, and Heather, Eva, Lashana, and Lindsay make it to the finish line, with Lindsay making it last, so she gets eliminated, and Heather does 
the same thing she does in canon, which Lindsay tells her off for, and her own alliance begins to realize they can just turn on Heather and get rid of her. Episode 19, and DJ still is the most lame death here because of Heather, and Eva kills the escaped psycho killer with a chainsaw and a hook, letting the show continue. Episode 20, and Bridget finally tells Eva off telling her that Heather most likely stole the MP3 player to make her angry and make her throw a fit before getting herself voted off as a result. This actually clicks in Eva's head and she apologizes to Bridget for being so foolish and says that she will get Heather out no matter what. Cody, Harold, and Trent talk and they all talk about how much they don't like Heather and Harold asks what the alternative is since they most likely would have gotten voted out early otherwise and Trent agrees with that but he says that once they have the numbers they will for sure vote her out and for right now they should just vote with Heather. Everyone agrees and during the challenge Eva would let emotions get to her head and she'd shoot Heather with the tranquilizer like Izzy does but this time it was intentional. At elimination, Heather gets her group to vote off Eva, which feels real scummy, but they do so, and as Eva's leaving, Eva tells her teammates that Heather is just playing them and to open their eyes. Episode 20 and the teams are Heather and Cody, Lashana and Bridget, and Harold and Trent. Heather and Cody would end up winning the challenge as Cody needs to prove himself, and Heather says that if he loses, it would mean that Trent is more of a man than he is, making him want to win, despite Trent, Harold, and Cody agreeing that if they got on a team with Heather, they would throw the challenge. As Cody Cody wins, he realizes what he did and tried to apologize profusely, but the others aren't having it. Heather is able to get Bridget and Cody to vote off Trent, since Heather points out that Trent has a new disdain towards him, so Cody inevitably votes Trent, with Lashana also voting Trent instead of either Harold or Bridget, since she feels a kinship with Bridget since they are the odd ones out. Episode 22, and we could be lazy here and just say Lashana leaves, but let's actually be thematic here and actually have Heather get eliminated here, as all her past enemies come to bite her, and she's taken off. Episode 24, and the teams would be Cody and Harold and Lashana and Bridget. Now I think Harold and Cody have this in the bag, but I could also see Harold falling for Lashana the way Duncan did for Heather, which would bite them in the end, but I think overall if we're talking just pure skill into account here, Cody and Harold have a clear edge in that department, with Bridget and Lashana having an edge in more manipulation-based tactics. In the end, I think I will go with the more interesting scenario and have Harold and Cody be conned out of their supplies and Lashana and Bridget win. Chef would most likely send Harold home here and would say that he can't believe he was tricked by his own femme fatale. Episode 25 and Bridget, Cody, and Lashana are very strong-willed, but can you see any of them realistically drinking from the toilet like Gwen? I can't see it personally. Not even Lashana would do that. Lashana's best best abilities come from spite and her wanting to prove someone else wrong. So with Eva not being there to push her, I don't think Lashana will be at her full potential here. Frankly, I think any of these people could be going home here. I don't think there is a clear winner here. So in this case, let's see which ones would allow Chef to cut their hair. The challenge that got Heather eliminated in canon. Cody would. Bridget possibly would. But I can't see Lashana doing it. Lashana takes too much pride in her appearance to do it, so I think Lashana gets the boot here. And now the finale. Now I think Cody and Bridget is mostly a stomp in Bridget's favor, but the odds can be evened out in the second challenge with both of them not wanting to walk past the beams with the eagle's eggs, until Jeff convinces Bridget to, and Lindsay convinces Cody to do it. It would then be a foot race with both of them being in similar speed categories. It's not like Noah where Cody has no stamina, and I think it's up in the air who wins this, but since it's his video, I will give Cody the win here. If you think this is contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments, make the day yours, and I'll see you all soon with our next contestant, Beth.